Hey everybody, just doing a spur of the moment video here. Uh, I know he's hard to see, but my male angelfish is right here. I have this tank so brightly lit at this point that a lot of it almost wants to seem to wash out. But I came down uh, just to say hey to everybody, make sure everyone was doing all right. It is a little bit after dinner on a Monday night. And look what I saw. My angelfish are spawning again. Oh, we're going to get a little bit of live action egg depositing. So now I find it interesting that she's over there depositing the eggs and the male is over here. He's normally with her while she's doing that. Um, presumably he has to release his milt while she's depositing the eggs. I'm not exactly sure how that works. So for those of you that are not familiar with me and my fish keeping, I'm not really interested in breeding per se. Uh, I find it fascinating. I enjoy watching it because I know that my fish are healthy and that their environment is such that it encourages them to spawn. But I don't really care about whether or not the eggs survive. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go through the hassle of separating them. I'm not going to go through the hassle of trying to raise the fry. Um, if I had some noteworthy genetics, I might be doing it. But this is a albino red eye. And as far as I know, that's just a name somebody made up to make it saleable. He's clearly an albino and he clearly has a red eye. But I don't know if that's really a genetic strain that would be saleable. This one, I know for a fact, is just a mixed veil. There's no specific genetics in there whatsoever. So regardless of what the father would be, any eggs or any offspring I got from this mating would simply be mixed veils. I couldn't, in good conscience, call them anything else regardless of how beautiful any individual fish may come out looking. It's still just going to be a mixed veil because I've got unknown genetics in there. And I'm just not interested in doing that. If I'm going to breed anything, I'm going to breed something worth breeding. And, you know... Uh, angelfish are pretty much a dime a dozen. In fact, when I bought her, I think I got her on sale for $3.99 or something like that. So mixed veil angelfishes are not something that I'm going to put a lot of effort into attempting to breed. But I did want to get a little bit of video showing that it is going on again. These two breed quite often. It's interesting. They used to be down the other end of the tank. They used to hang out down there. They used to breed down there. Um, you know, deposit their eggs on that end of the tank. I have seen them deposit their eggs on this Anubius one time. They deposited their eggs on one of these leaves here. Uh, again, the, the light is just so bright in there that I'm afraid that uh, not only is it washing the camera out a little bit and those Anubius leaves are glaring, but that might actually be too much light for my Anubius now that I've fixed the uh, one fixture that had one of the tubes was out. Now I'm back up to full lighting and it might actually be too much but that'll be a video for another day we'll talk about that in some other video at any rate i already feel like i've talked too long i just wanted to show you a little bit of the spawning activity that's going on i know my uh surface skimmer bars kind of makes it awkward it's around the side here but i will keep you updated if for some reason this batch takes and they don't get eaten and i wind up with some wrigglers or i wind up with some baby fry in there or whatever you can be sure to get an update so make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss it and you won't miss anything else i got going coming up i got a, a lot of other stuff going on at the moment and you don't want to miss any of those videos either so thanks for watching this one hope you enjoyed it and i will see you real soon on the next one